sweating and disorientated, surrounded by furious and shocked worshippers. Handed over to police officers who at times struggle to keep their suspect from the crowd. Just minutes before, this man was at the wheel of a van, driven at speed into a crowd of unsuspecting worshippers, leaving a mosque after Ramadan prayers. The driver was seized by onlookers, demanding to know why he had brought terror to North London. What he done was he actually came on the bus lane. If you look at the road, there's a bus lane. So he actually came on the bus lane and then he took a sharp left where he actually went on top of the people. He actually ran them over. This was a, a man driving a van? A van, yes. A white van? A van, yeah. And from what you saw, he, he veered off the bus lane? On the bus, he was on the bus targeting lane. Targeting people who were yes. leaving the mosque? Yes, he was leaving the mosque. But what it was, it was about two minutes away from the mosque. If you look at it, it's next to a cafe, he turned left. And then all I can just see is people getting hit. Specialist medical trauma teams arrived to a scene of devastation. A number of people lay injured where they had been mown down. There were several casualties and witnesses said some had sustained serious injuries. I was looking around in the corner up there, seeing the man they holding him and people keep coming with him, going inside out and a man underneath the fan as soon as before I ran there was his bleeding up there and I think this man choose in this area because there's a lot of Muslim in the area and they do midnight prayer. The attacker's identity has not been made public. We only know his age. He's 48 years old. There were reports this morning that up to three men had taken part in this attack but police say they only have the one suspect and they don't think anyone else was involved in the attack itself. And the only reason they're able to speak to this suspect is because of an extraordinary intervention. It was the Imam of the mosque who protected the attacker from angry worshippers until police arrived. The Imam had actually said to people, stop hitting him and, and said, look, just hold him down and called the police. And that's what was basically done. This is being treated as a terrorist attack and the Counter-Terrorism Command is investigating. This was an attack on London and all Londoners, and we should all stand together against extremists, whatever their cause. Community leaders have urged people to stay calm. We have eight witnesses saying that the guy who did what he did, the driver of the van, said, I did my bit, which means he's not a mentally ill. This person was conscious. He did what he did deliberately to hit and kill as many Muslims as possible. The government has been heavily criticised for lacking empathy after the Grenfell fire tragedy. This response couldn't be more different. Community Secretary Sajid Javid comforting a young woman who told him she was scared. Not just as a Muslim community, but as a community, we're, we, we fear for our lives. I fear for my son as a mother to even send him to school. We have This is what it's come to. I don't feel that there's any kind of compassion coming our way, maybe on a screen. Is it really coming our way? No. The police have tried to reassure people here and across the capital that they will be protected. But as this, the Borough Market and Westminster attacks have shown, that is a promise that is almost impossible to keep.